My life before Stemma community was quite difficult because I self-harmed from I was eight and I ended up homeless because of a breakdown within the family. My granny couldn't cope with it, so she decided that the best thing to do was for me to leave home. I became homeless when I was 15 years old. When my family broke down, I was supported by my social worker to get into a Simon community and was basically my rock through the time that I needed somebody. I remember on the night I became homeless, I was in a and b and she fought me to pretend to be my granny to say, good night, love, love you. My first night in Simon community, I was really scared. It was my first time ever being away from home. It was a wee bit weird, just living on my own and having staff around me 24-7. But it went actually quite well. The staff at Simon Community were really helpful because after a couple of days I was made to feel like it was my home and that's something that I really appreciate and I'll never forget. The support staff at Simon Community taught me all these techniques on how not to self-harm and how to manage my money because I was really bad at and spending my money and stuff. Life now is so different. I've learned so many things along the way from Simon Community. I also started a project with Lumos and I ended up going to Prague for a part of the JK Rowling project. I spoke in a conference about how homelessness affects people in Northern Ireland. My advice to give to a person that becomes homeless is to never put yourself down. It's not your fault. No matter what happens in life, you'll always get somewhere better than what you are in that period of time. I just want to say a big thank you to everybody because they've really helped me through my journey and I'll never forget it.